Hello everybody, welcome to Storytime with Tracy. Today we will start with acknowledgement to country. So can you say, join with me. Hello land, reach down low and touch the ground. Hello sky, reach up high. Hello me, give yourself a hug. And hello friends, can you wave to your friends nearby? Now, we've got another egg. What colour is it? Ooh, that's right. Let's do what's in the egg. You ready? What's in the egg? What's in the egg? I wonder what it could be. What's in the egg? What's in the egg? Let's take a look and see. Are you going to crack it with me? We've got inside the blue egg a red egg. So that's one egg. Oh no! How lucky is that? It didn't crack open. It was a bit like Humpty Dumpty that falls off the wall. What's in the red egg? What's in the red egg? Wonder what it could be. What's in the red egg? What's in the red egg? Let's take a look and see. Crack it open. Oh, what have we got inside? Today we've got a baby duckling. And I think there might be a duckling in the story today. Put that egg over here. And I think we'll put the duckling here so we, we can see you. Now, better put on my glasses. Today we've got orange, that's right. And today's story is called Duck. And it's by Janet A. Holmes and Jonathan Bentley. Can you see Duck? He's sitting up there in the title. I hope it stays open. It hasn't been open for a while. This is Duck. Duck lives at my house. And Duck thinks that I'm the greatest. I'm Duck's hero. He's got his hero cape on. Find out what happens to Duck. Wherever I go, Duck goes to. You can see he's carrying him on his... On his back there, on his shoulders. Duck's not frightened of anything when he's with me. Just sitting on the branch. Do you know that Duck won't start his dinner until I've started mine? And Duck can't go to sleep unless I'm in bed too. Look at Duck. He looks comfy up there with the pillow, doesn't he? He even comes with me when I have my bath. When Duck's sad, I hold him tight. And when he's happy, he jumps into the air and he knows that I will catch him. One day, Duck was gone. I looked everywhere for him. He won't know what to do without me, I said. He wasn't on the branch. He wasn't in the bed. I wonder where he could be. Have you seen Duck? I said to the shopkeeper. He's yellow and raggedy. The shopkeeper had not seen Duck. Have you seen Duck? I asked the postman. He... Wait for the truck. <laughs> He smells like a blanket. The postman had not seen Duck. Can you see Duck anywhere on the page? I don't think I can either. Well, I hope it's not lost. Have you seen Duck, I asked the bus driver. He feels soft and woolly. The bus driver had not seen Duck. Have you seen Duck? I asked the dog next door. He sounds like... But I don't know what duck sounds like. Duck doesn't make any sound at all. That evening I sat at the table, but I couldn't eat my dinner. I had a bath, but I didn't want to splash. Do you know why he couldn't eat his dinner and he didn't want to splash? 
because Duck wasn't there with him. I'll read you a story, said my sister. Not without Duck, I said. I'll bake you a chocolate cake, said Dad. Not without Duck. Oh dear, he's very sad, isn't he? I climbed onto the couch. I curled up in the corner and I snuggled between the cushions. I smelt something like a blanket. My hand slipped behind the cushions and I felt something soft and woolly. I pulled out something yellow and raggedy. Do you know what it is or who it is? Duck, how did you get there? I held him up to make sure he hadn't been squashed. Oh, Duck, I missed you, I said as I climbed into bed. Good night, Duck, I whispered as I cuddled him tight. I think he loves Duck very much, don't you? This is Duck. Duck lives at my house. I think Duck's the greatest. Duck's my hero. Isn't that a beautiful story? I think that little boy loved Duck very much and I'm sure Duck loved him too. Now, I'm just wondering how I could be a superhero. Do you think I could be a hero? Or have I got a duck? I know I've got this duck, but I wonder where the duck is from the story time. Oh, is that a pillow? No. I think that's a gigantic superhero cape. I think it'll fit. Let me try it on. It's a rather large superhero cape, isn't it? But I think I can make it work. I've got to tie it here. And it goes over my shoulders. And then I can look like... Where is he? can look like duck too. So could you if you had a cape as well to put on. Now, there's something that's sticking into my bottom here on this chair. Let me just move. Guess what I found? It's duck. He was hiding in, in the cushions of my chair. <laughs> duck, do you think we should go and make sure there's no lost ducks on the farm today? Oh, I think that's a good idea. You want to come with us? We've both got our capes on. Maybe you could find some capes today. Now, I don't have to wear a hat because I'm only going out in the sun for a minute and then back onto the farm, which is under the veranda. But if we were going out all day, Duck, we'd need a hat, wouldn't we? Okay, here we go. Oh, fly. Guess what, Duck? I can see... A lost duckling. Oh, come on, lost duckling. We'll find your mum for you. Looking, looking. Can you see the duckling's mum yet? Not over there. I can see Henny Penny trying to be a rabbit. And I can see a horse trying to be a rabbit. And a rabbit being a rabbit. But no mother duck yet. Where would she be? I can see her. She's swimming in the creek. Can you see her there? Here, Mother Duck, here's your lost baby duckling. Now, I'm sure they'll be all happy there together. But, oh no, I've just seen. Can you see what's in the sheep pen? It's another duckling. Where's that one's mum? Come on, Duck, where can we... Oh. Do you think in this pond that could be her mother? I think we better get down, Duck, to see if we can see. I'll just lift the mother up. Oh, there's another one. I wonder if two will fit in there. There you go, Mother Duck. You look after your ducklings in the pond. And guess what, Duck? I think we might have one more big duckling here in the barn. There's a bathtub. With some water in it, be splashed, and we've got a duck here, and this duck's got a towel. 
I wonder if he's going to have a bath. I wonder if he does anything. Let's see if we can get him to do something. Maybe. Maybe somewhere. Oh, here. Likes to dance. You splash and splash in the bathtub. Oh, he keeps trying to come out of the barn. I think I'll have to look after him and we'll do some more splishing and splashing in the bathtub. I think Duck might like to hop in the bath too. He might float. Um, so I'm going to leave you all now and maybe you could get a cape and make yourself into a hero too. And sometimes it's a hero just to be a friend to somebody else and to be there for them, to give them a hug or to play with them. So I'll leave you to be superheroes like that and I'll see you next time. Bye.